Hello there. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angel. And I'm Billy and we have Baby. And this is the Natural Lifestyle Show. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about something that um, that is important. It's that to eat a healthy life, to eat a healthy diet, you have to change your mentality, your mindset. Um, and there's three things that I was just thinking. I was, I was like, well, first you get information and then you get a realization of what you've learned and then you take action. That's really the three steps of, of um, changing your that's lifestyle it? for the better. I mean, that, that's in a nutshell. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> Sounds pretty simple to me. There's way, you, you know, once you decide to take action, you have to say, well, how am I going to implement this information that I have um, learned? And is it important to me? Is it important enough to follow through with? And in my opinion and with us, yes, our family is important enough for oh, it yes. to, um, to make a difference. And yes, I like to honor God's creation. I like to honor his his heirloom things, you know, plants and things that he's given us. I, I believe that he created best and that generally I don't think that we can appro really improve upon what he has created. Yeah, I don't think somebody <laughs> in a lab and a lab could really compare. No, I, I respect and I honor what God has created and I choose to live as natural as possible to what, what he has given us. And um, so I just wanted to talk about a few things. You know, first of all, you want to talk about think about what am I going to avoid because in this world today sadly all the, the choices we are generally given are generally a lot of bad choices because when you go into a grocery store you see the prepackaged stuff uh -oh. Uh -oh. and for a long time when you know when we were younger and, and extremely more unhealthy we, I don't think we're unhealthy now but we were are you all right <laughs> I remember going into the grocery stores and I would buy packaged foods Grab the packaged foods, the milk, the eggs, the bread that they sold. I didn't even know what organic was, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but you was getting, <laughs> we probably like me and everyone else, probably getting stuff that didn't take long to fix. Yeah, and just what I thought you were supposed to do. That's, I really thought that. But now I know how to do things um, from scratch, and I know how to, um, that, to buy fresh produce, and, you know, and how to just create things that are nutritious and delicious. And that's what I want to share with you. That's why we make recipe videos. That's why we do informational videos, because we want you to know how to do it as well. We don't want you to have to, you know, if you want to know what we know, um, as far as that's concerned. You know, I wish that somebody would have told me a long time ago and I just know, like, right. you know, like, well, here's how you can make this and this, and you don't have to eat that box stuff. <laughs> but the things to avoid, you know, personally, this is what my list of things for us to avoid. GMOs, preservatives, man-made chemicals, MSG, animal products because we prefer to eat vegan. Um, that's just some of the things. Now, there might be more things, but you know, that's like, it's the kind of, thing. yeah, it's like a grid. You look at things through a grid and if they don't fit into the grid, then you got to move on to something else. It's, it's basically how it goes when you're changing your mindset to how you're going to um, change your lifestyle. Okay, now you mentioned GMOs. Um, for those who don't know, that's genetically modified Yes, foods. that's foods that are genetically modified. And we will do another video on that, and we do not eat those at all. At all. Um, because of some things that we'll discuss in another video. It's really too vast to get into now. And before I say anything, I want to have a link below to back up like the studies and everything to back it up. I don't want anybody to say that I didn't quote it straight from the study because I always get my information and give the links to it. That's just the way I like to do things. <laughs> I like to, you know, I, I like yeah. to stay with the facts. Yeah, and always, like we say in pretty much all our videos, you can always do your own research. Yeah, we you encourage know, it. Yeah, we encourage it <laughs> because, you know, we're not thinking for no one but ourselves. Yeah, we, we're sharing with you what we learn and what we're implementing to our lives. And once you figure out what you want to avoid, you have to say, what am I going to include? You know, um, and there's a lot of things to include. What is the definition? In my mind, it would be what's the definition of a whole food in its most natural state as possible and the, the kind that is as close to that God made it. And there we go. And that's a lot of things. You know, it, it could encompass a lot of things depending on what you want to eat. It could encompass all fruit, all vegetables, all grains, especially heirloom, ancient grains. Um, just, you know, it, it's endless. It's really endless, the, the choices and the combinations of these things you can put together. It's very exciting to really get into Whole Foods. 
and to really uh, appreciate them. Yeah, and the thing of it is, you know, you eat them and you actually, you know, the organic ones like we get, you can actually taste the food. Yes. You know, a lot of times you get stuff that's made out of lab or anything, you really don't have no taste and it's just there to, you know, um, put something in your stomach and, you know, yeah. it, I, I want to taste my food. Yeah, and some things like the packaged things that have the MSG, you know, they taste good because of the MSG. So you're not, you, you're just feeding an addiction mm -hmm. if you're eating that. And not only that, it can make you sick, sick, sick to eat MSG. Um, and then you want to think about the new preparation steps because once you have decided what you're going to avoid, what you're going to eat, you're going to have to say, well, how am I going to eat this stuff? <laughs> And, you know, so you have to, if you're going to eat a lot of raw foods, like we like a lot of raw food, you're going to have to learn the raw food preparation steps, you know, mm -hmm. all about the blend tech, the Vitamix, the food processor, um, just cutting things up and eating them, fruits and vegetables, you know, it doesn't have juicer. to, juicer, and you can make juice in a blender if you don't want to, or can't afford to get a juicer. I mean, we like to share a lot of tips, and I, actually, we're going to do a video about how to eat um, healthy mostly raw on a budget because that's really something that a lot of people need to know how to do I think. I agree. Yeah. Um, so also once you start eating these real foods you'll appreciate the real food. You'll eat for hunger, nutrition, and for the health benefits because I mean it's lovely to eat something and just know that there are so many health benefits to it versus eating something thinking oh my goodness I shouldn't be eating this. Yeah <laughs> and I believe I your body will thank you too. Yeah it's like a comedian we heard one time um, <laughs> he said Lord please change this Cheeto to a carrot stick on the way down. Yeah. I mean eating junk food can can keep you satisfied for a second but you'll immediately need um, something else and, and regret it. Because yeah, you know it's the, not good. And for some of the snack foods are so salty, you got to have something to drink with it. Yeah, you know? salt intake's another thing altogether. Packaged foods can get your salt intake skyrocketed. So that's another reason you might want to avoid them a little bit. Um, and so when you're eating the standard American diet, a lot of times you're eating as a result of advertising. I've heard people say if something has an advertisement, don't eat it. Um, as a result of craving it because you're addicted to it. And, um, and oftentimes you may end up deficient because, you know, sometimes these things are not really the most nutritious things to be eating. And so, and also, we'll, um, and if, once you have all those things implemented, if you're ever going to cheat, you need to know the limitations of when and where you'll cheat. Mm -hmm. Like, how far are you going to go? Okay, well, you, you don't want to go backwards. You no, want to keep moving forward. Yeah, if you're going to cheat, like if you're trying to eat all raw foods and you're going to cheat, well, try to stay within your grid is what I say. Try to still avoid those core ba core things that you believe to be bad and still try to focus on the good things. So um, that way, because like you said, you don't want to go too far back. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just that's what we believe. And um, we thank you so much for joining us and just give us your thoughts on all of this below. And, yeah, um, you know, let us know what you think about this. Yeah, and give us a like and subscribe and go to our website, sign up for our newsletter, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, too. We're easy to get a hold of. Yeah, we're not hiding. <laughs> we're not hiding. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Bye.